Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be your bonus reading. We're just going to jump right in and get some messages and see what the universe wants you to know. So we have the Four of Wands in reverse here. The Ace of Wands. The Death card. Some of you feel like something isn't changing with a Scorpio possibly. But there's still a lot of passion between you and this person. You guys are trying to come up with ways to make this work or your person is. I feel like some of you are like, they're the problem. I don't know why I'm hearing, I still love you. What more do you want me to say? Or what do you want me to show you? A page of pentacles. Someone's coming in with an offer. This is somebody who does want this connection with you, but... Mm -hmm. You may have told this person it's over with the world card. This could be a Scorpio, definitely, with the death in the world. This person's like, I want, I want this and I want you, but I'm not ready for... Whatever you're requiring out of this person with the Ten of Wands, they feel it's a burden. They may not be able to give it to you, the Page of Pentacles. You feel like things aren't stable enough. You're like, no, we need to get stable. We need to have a better connection. This is somebody here who may not be able to. The Queen of Wands. So it could be another fire sign that you're dealing with. Aries Leo, or Sagittarius. Or this is your energy here. And you may be dealing with someone who's younger than you. Or you feel like this person is just immature. And you're like, you know, keep up. <laughs> like pick up the pace and you feel like you've given this person enough time to figure out what it is that they want here two of cups this two of cups has been showing up in everybody's reading this two of cups just showed up in scorpio reading in the beginning of the reading so some of you are definitely dealing with the scorpio and there's a lot of love here that you have for each other but you feel like this person's dragging their feet you're ready for more you're ready to move this connection along it's like, what are we going to do? And we're moving in together. Are we getting married? Yep, Ten of Cups. I feel like this is someone who's not letting you go. They're not going to let you go. They're going to have to, it's like you guys are going to have to figure out what it is that you want, you know, from each other right now at this moment. Or I feel like this person's going to be like, you know, are you going to give me time to figure out my life? Or, you know, but I, I love you. I want to be with you. You are happiness. This is my offer. So what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know about their person? Eight of Wands. Here comes the communication. I was about to say somebody's going to reach out, but here it is. Eight of Wands. The messages. I feel like some of you are going to um, go back and forth messaging this person. They may start it off and then it's going to go back and forth. And you guys are going to be talking about what it is that you want from each other. It may have happened already. If not, I see it coming. So if you're not speaking to this person, you may be speaking to them, but maybe the communication is choppy. Maybe you're like, well, I don't really want to talk to them. <laughs> like if they text me, I'll respond or whatever, you know. But I feel like you guys are going to have a full-blown conversation about where things are going because the Hierophant is in reverse here and you feel like this person is non-committal and you're like, I need this commitment. I need to know that what we're doing here, I'm not wasting my time. Some of you may be dealing with the Taurus. They're like, tell me I'm not wasting my time. Tell me that there's something more that's going to become of this. And show me, like I need to see some sort of effort. Yep, the Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. Somebody's going to show you something because they know you're fed up. I feel it in this reading. I feel you being fed up. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? I feel like I'm going to title this reading. I'm fed up. I don't know what I'm going to title. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to title this video. And all these stories just flew out my hand. Okay, I'm going to take them. So we have the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, 
temperance and the empress yep somebody is like be patient i'm not going anywhere i know who you are i know what you mean to me just give me a chance and we'll figure this out they already know you're the empress they know that you have your life in order and in order for them to be with you they have to get their life in order or they may want they may wind up losing you we have the nine of cups here so there's no doubt that you make them happy. There's no doubt about that, but they are not making you happy right now. Some of you may be pregnant by this person or you think you're pregnant by this person. The Empress being here. That card, I just tried to prevent it from falling on the floor. Page of Cups. Some of you are asking yourself, does this person really love you? We have the king of pentacles here, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're like, do they really love me? Are they just telling me this? Are they just stringing me along? Like, I don't see the energy, but you will. The knight of wands is your next card out of the deck. So this person knows that they have to take action. Like, I don't think there's any more left to say here. <laughs> like, really? Like, I don't want to give you guys like a six minute reading, but your cards, um, they got right to the point. All right, let's see what else comes out. So what messages do you have for Sagittarius? I feel like someone is like, I get it. Like, okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to do what you want. Or I'm going to do what you're asking for. Because I love you and don't want to lose you. I'm going to show you this action. Give me a chance. It's going to take time. It's not going to be overnight. Like, I sort of hear that energy Yep. The Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's slow. They're moving very, very slow with this Ace of Swords. But I feel like the clarity is that you want this person to say it. You want to know. Because, I mean, let's just be for real here. Like, anything that's worth having is going to take time. Nothing's going to happen overnight. It never does. That's not how life works. But you're like, show me some energy. I Like, I need to see something. I need to see your behavior change, your attitude. Like, show me some emotions. Because I feel like this may be someone who's in and out. It's like one minute. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy that this person has money problems. And I feel like if they didn't have these money problems, whoever this is, you guys would be straight. You guys would be on the same page. This person may feel like you're going to leave them behind and go towards someone else because you're established already in different ways. The sun. We have Leo energy here. I don't know. I see happiness coming your way. So if you guys were thinking about walking away from someone... I don't see it happening right now. Nope, the hangman is in reverse. You're going to come out of stagnant energy with someone. The seven of swords is in reverse. Here's the six of cups, but you're still going to be guarded with the seven of wands. So yeah, you're going to come out of stagnant energy with someone where things were just at a standstill. Maybe you guys were arguing all the time or just not on the same page. And you're like, I don't know where this is going. I'm just fed up. I'm done. I don't want to see this person. I don't want to talk to them. They're just a waste of my time. And then this energy comes in with the Six of Cups, Seven of Wands. Um, I just feel like you're still going to be on guard. You're going to be standing your ground. Some of you are standing your ground with someone and it's like, don't even come towards me unless you're coming right. Why is this Knight of Swords coming up in everyone's reading? The Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords. What energy is in the cosmos? <laughs> like, seriously, I think... Um, Scorpio had the Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords. You guys had the Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords. And I know, um, I believe Libra did as well. Some of you may be dealing with a, a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that's doing a lot of thinking about you with the Four of Swords. We also have Judgment, Scorpio energy, or this person has made up their mind. They know what they want. They already know what they want is you. Um, I'm sort of picking up like... This person's like, okay, I did. Is it now that we have to get married, or is it now that we have to settle down? 
Like, I need more time. This is somebody who's going to be like, I need more time. I know what I want. What I want is you. They've been thinking about something. Something is on their mind where with the four of swords, it's like they want to heal this with you. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want the arguments. They just need time to make something happen. You're definitely going to have a conversation. This person's coming right at you, the Knight of Swords, after doing all of this thinking. All right. So we have the Four of Pentacles hanging on to you. Yep, because they know you are the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. So here they come. Definitely. Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. And this person knows that you're a catch, Sagittarius. They don't want anyone else to have you. So this person is feeling like whatever I need to do to keep Sagittarius in my life and stay connected to him or her while I figure out my life, that's what I'm going to do. We also have the devil. Could be a Capricorn here. And we have the Page of Swords. So this person's watching you. They're trying to make sure you don't, you don't go anywhere. The Strength card. And we also have the Magician. Virgo, Gemini, Energy, Leo, Energy here for some of you. But there's something about this situation where you definitely don't trust this person. Because we have the Three of Swords and we have the Moon. You're like, I don't know. I'm not putting my guard down. I'm still not trusting this. Because this person has hurt you in the past. So you're not sure whether to believe in them or believe in, you know, what they're saying. You feel like they're hiding something more with the third party. You're like, okay, if you're really going to show me who you are, then do it. Like, do it right now. Well, the next card we have is the Three of Pentacles, and we also have the Ace of Cups. So someone who's keeping their eye on you, they still love you, they want this new beginning, they want to fix this, they're going to tell you that they want to put the work in. And even if they don't tell you in those words, right? Because everybody's not going to say, I want to put the work in. No, they may tell you they're not going to lose you. You guys are going to hang on to me. Whatever it is that your person normally tells you, I feel like you're still going to be uh, guarded. You're just going to be like, um, we'll see. I don't know why I'm picking up the energy of some of you are like, you don't even know if you want love anymore because you went through so much with this person. You're like the changes that they have to make, the energy that they have to bring towards you. Some of you are doubting that, that it's in them. You're like, what you need to do to fix this situation, to make this right, it's not even in you. But this person is going to assure you that it is with this Three of Pentacles and this Ace of Cups. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.